Well, hello everyone. I wanted to get on here this afternoon or this evening really for me uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I hope that all of you are healthy and safe wherever you are and that you're taking the necessary precautions uh, to stay safe during this crisis. I'm happy to report that here in Maryland where I live, I am doing well, I'm he healthy, and I am safe. I also want to report that uh, during all of this, I'm remaining calm and I'm going to break my daily life just like I normally would as much as I possibly can with everything that is going on around me. Now, some people might ask, how can you remain so calm during uh, these times? Well, one of the main reasons that I can remain so calm is because I know that we have a Savior that loves each and every one of us. He knows each of us by name. He knows all about our worries, our concerns, and our cares. Uh, the scriptures teach us that to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. The scriptures also teach us that as far as our needs being met at this time or any time, that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Our Savior has promised never to leave us nor to forsake us. And dear family and friends, I can testify to you that our Savior has not left us nor forsaken us even at this hour. I fall asleep peacefully every night, resting in the arms of my Savior, knowing that God, our Heavenly Father, has always, he who neither sleeps nor slumbers, has always been, is now, and always will be in total control of it all, no matter what comes. I, like you, do not know what tomorrow may bring, but this much I do know. I know him who holds all tomorrows in the palms of his hands. He, it is in him that I put my trust, my faith, and my confidence. He is my day star and my song in the night. He is my Lord, my Savior, my King, my Deliverer, my Redeemer. He is the hope for all tomorrows. Of that I do so testify in the sacred name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. The other reason I wanted to get on here this evening is to share with you a rough version of a new song that I'm working on. This will be song number three. Uh, it's hard to believe that this is song number three for a 61-year-old guy who never thought he would even write his first song. So here I am at song number three. The song is called Thy Word in My Heart. Uh, and it's based on two scriptures. First, from Psalm 119, verse 11, which reads, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. And then also from Psalm 119, verse 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. So I hope that the words of this song will bring comfort to someone this evening. Uh, the words also are an extension of my testimony and the reason why I'm able to handle what's going on right now uh, so well. So, deal, hope you can bear with my voice. I am not a singer. <laughs> I'm just doing this as a rough cut of uh, the new song that I'm planning uh, to release as soon as I can find someone to sing and record it for me. Again, it's called Thy Word in My Heart. From the days of my youth, it was always taught to me. Thy holy word is true, to the right path it will lead. Thy word forever in my heart, I know I need not fear. Trusting, believing is my part, thy word tells me you are near. 
By day and all through the night, through the storms, wind and rain. Thy word is my guide, my light, sweet peace from fear and pain. Thy words forever in my heart, I know I need not fear. Trusting, believing is my part, thy word tells me you are near. When trials and temptations come, and I don't know where to turn, I go to where my help comes from, I find answers and I learn. Thy word forever in my heart, I know I need not fear. Trusting, believing is my part, thy word tells me you are near. Thy word forever in my heart, I know I need never fear. Trusting, believing is my part, thy word tells me you are near. Trusting, believing is my part, thy word tells me you are near. So that is thy word in my heart, a very rough cut. As I said, I hope all of you are healthy, that you're staying well, that you're taking all the precautions necessary to remain healthy and safe during this crisis. And as I also said, remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves each and every one of us, and he has not left us nor forsaken us during this crisis. Take God bless, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I will talk to you soon.